Copy, Copy, Alpha, did you copy that? The Spitfire is going to come down your right hand side and passing underneath. Yep, this actually happened. Although I'm very much still a new pilot, I don't get the feeling this is something that happens all that often, so this is definitely a flight that I'll never forget. In the run-up to this flight, because of the current weather situation in the UK, I was unsure if we were even going to get up at all. With this in mind, we arrived at Kemble in the morning. While it's clearly still pretty windy, it was actually looking pretty promising we were going to get some flying in. So while we waited for the power base to rise a little, we A checked the aircraft and buckled up. Our plan was to head to an airfield in North East Wales and get a bit of sightseeing done on the way. Um, but with the weather being the way it was, uh, we definitely weren't getting our hopes up. Regardless, I gave it the all clear and we set off to give it a go. Take off your discretion. Take off, take off. But it wasn't long in until we had to abort going any further north because not only was the cloud base still too low um, but there were a few big patches of rain. Um, that, to be fair, we could have navigated round if we really wanted to but I was mindful that um, we could very easily get stuck the other side and not be able to come back. I don't want to call it, mate. That car's pushing us now. So we tried to divert to another airfield in the other direction, uh, but that unfortunately quickly came to the same end as our original destination for the same reason. By this time we had been bumbling around for 45 minutes or so, so after giving it a good effort, we decided to come back to Kemble. Let's look back to, to Kemble. Then, when we got near, approaching from the north, I saw something fly beneath us about 500 foot below, going in the opposite direction. Fucking hell, that's a spitfire. Thinking that was the last we'd see of it, all of a sudden we heard this on the radio, and then this happened. Uh, the GA 28 on the right hand side and slightly underneath. Copy, Alpha, did you copy that? No, copy, Alpha, the the Spitfire is going to come down your right hand side and passing underneath. And sure enough, there he was. And I wasn't lying, um, we did get cut up, because although he was fast enough to get in front of us, uh, he wasn't off the runway in time, so when we called final, um, we were told the runway was occupied, and we had to go around instead, as you'll see here. Echo Alpha, final to land to Alpha, runway occupied. Roger that, Echo Alpha. Echo Alpha, Echo Alpha, Echo Alpha, Echo Alpha. Hey, Alpha, thanks. Brought downwind. Okay, 
So we went around, i.e. we did another lap to have another go at landing. Then we made it down and actually saw the Spitfire on the ground outside the cafe. Um, funny enough, it was actually doing customer runs for three grand for 30 minutes. So we then joined the crowds and getting some shots of it starting and taking off. I mean, I don't know how often this kind of thing actually happens, but I do know it's one thing to see a Spitfire on the ground, another to see it fly, and then a whole other experience to be flying and have one weave its way around you. What a flight. Thanks for watching.